I noticed my mother's condition um, wasn't, wasn't good. So I asked her if there was anything wrong with her. She, she did not want to tell me because she, didn't want, she did not want to see me in pain. Um, so she called me and decided to break the news. Um, she told me she had cervical cancer. She was diagnosed of cervical cancer in 2009. In 2012, she was thought that she, um, she was cancer free. 2014, at, at that time I was 21, I noticed my mother's condition has started deteriorating once more. So the moment she went to the cancer hospital again to check, um, they discovered that the cancer had come back and they had to put her on treatment once more. After all the chemos, she, she continued being weak, weak, until she decided to um, do a review once more. After the, after she had finished all the chemotherapies, they, uh, she had to do a review, which showed that the cancer had spread to other organs and the vital organs like the bladder, the kidneys. Um, has, um, and the doctors told me that he told me that my mother my mother could not get any better apart from um, praying and they had done the, the the level best that their level best that they could to see that she got better but they couldn't do anything anymore which was the most heartbreaking. Later on, she was um, admitted in August. After being admitted, she stayed in the hospital. I stayed with her until her last day and her last prayer. I would like to urge my peers and parents to do an early screening. For parents, I'd like to urge them to take their young girls for the HPV vaccine, so at least could prevent a, a future deaths of cervical cancer.